All right. So, uh, Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do Chapter One A, and for this assignment, you're going to create a new solution named Splash Solution A. You are in this one. You have a label. You have a picture, and you have the form. Let's try it. So first of all, I want you to type Visual Studio 2019 to pop out your Visual Studio. It's okay. All right. So obviously your thing looks different right now. We have Visual Studio 2019, so different from 2010. So are you here right now? Let me wait for you. Okay, great. Then, then you are going to do here. Say, create a new project. It's okay. Create a new project. Now, now. All right. So, uh, were you able to see here? Say, window phone application. Okay, Windows Form application. All right. So if not here, you need to select a、uh, Visual Basic. It's okay. Select Visual Basic. Select Visual Basic. Then once you select Visual Basic here, maybe you can scroll it down, and you will see Windows Form application. And click the click that. All right. So I need you to have this part right now. Okay. So make sure because Visual Studio is for C plus plus, is for Java, is for C sharp, F sharp, for everything. So it's one size fit everything. So once you get into, it, you need to select. Look, you can even do Xbox thing. So you have to carefully select what you have. So we're going to select Visual Basic, and all platform is you can do on the PC. You can do this pro、uh, application as a、um, you know phone all this. All right. So you select that, and you say what next. All right, so I'm going to scroll over here a little bit, over here,、uh, over here a little bit, so you can see the name right here. Ah,、uh, the project name here is going to call Splash Solution A. So we type Splash. Ah,、uh, no space. Okay, Ani. Ah,、uh, space is okay. Solution. Let's put A. It's okay. Now, so the project name is Splash Solution. All right. So here, solution is a、uh, Splash Solution. Then we come here, change these to Project Splash Project. Anyway, th this will change this, and we're going to fix that. Okay. So click OK. So I'm here right now, and I want to、uh, make sure this goes to the other place right here. Sorry. Okay. So now you are going to have a a toolbox. Your toolbox, if this is hidden, I want you open it up and pin it. All right. So this is your toolbox, and you have. A solution explorer, solution explorer, and you have a pro property, property. All right. So remember, remember, you are creating graphic, ah,、uh, user interface application right here. So 
you are going uh, it, it is a object oriented programming it is object oriented programming so you are going to see your first object your first object is called form that's your first object your first object is form all right if you scroll all the way up here all the way up here okay then you will see some of here you will have the form's name all right that's alphabetic order and uh i want you go to the text here if you find text here double click it so it say form one and i'm going to ask you to type all right your name and your splash uh project one eight you type your name splash project one eight once you finish you press enter then it's go to your title here okay so this is one object right now this is remember you are learning object oriented programming so the form look like the form and uh, individuals to in the uh, our real handle site you saw many form there's one form one object right now and when this object you have size look our size you know is a 16 489 we also can change the color this and that so one object so this object this object is called form this object is called form all right so now i am going to uh continue and i'm going to let me smaller so i can see the other thing right here oh sorry jesus so now you can take a look here i want to drag a label box i want to drag a label box okay so boys and girls i want to drag a label box so right here make sure you go to your common control so all these are object remember you are learning object oriented programming so that means you already have a bunch of tool so you don't uh you don't create from scratch you want it use the this tool to help you and whenever you need to write something you use a label you use a label so first you will drag a label box to here to your form and the drag once this is an object okay so when it's here we call that class once go to your form let's go to object we're going to a label box and the text is going to say my name is all right shin so then let me show you right now so i'm going to drag a label oh i will drag a label right now all right i got the label and the label here uh i am going to go to the text the text right now say label one i'm going to change that to my name is shin liu all right all right so it's kind of small and you can make it bigger by what by you can go to your font size okay so go to your phone that's my this is like microsoft word uh i want it to be 20 bolded all right not only that not only that i can even change my font color okay so font color right here i want to go to a, a red color okay then the label usually the label does not have a border usually i want add a border so i go to my border style remember this alphabetic order so i go to my border style i say i want fix single 
and normally I always say my auto size sends to false. So I fix a uh, quite a lot of thing right here. So I have a border right now. So I have a uh, I drag a label box and I have border. Now I need to drag a picture box. I need to drag a picture box. So I have two objects right now. The first object is my form. The second object is my label. The third object will be my picture box. So I drag a picture box right here. Okay. Then the picture box here, I there's a tiny small triangle. I'm going to click it here. So I choose the image. The image I choose it, uh, import it, and it is I put in my desktop. Let me see. I put in my chapter one. Country chum in. Once I put it, I say import. Okay, hit OK. But doesn't see anything here because the a uh, mode has to change to stretch mode. And other then also I want to make this thing big enough. All right. So I have my name is Shin. I have a picture right here, and that's a country jump in. Then I need to do this. I wanted to uh, save it, okay, build it. Uh, let me build it. So I build it, build solution. So first I build it. I don't have any problem right there. All right, once succeeded, and uh, then start without debugging. So I got country jump in right now. All right, now the next thing is, let me finish and I'll help you. Next thing is, I have to get the exe and the zip. Is that okay? I have to get the exe and the zip. In order to get exe and zip, I first need to close this solution. Otherwise, I cannot get exe. Okay? This one is called Splash Project. Okay? So I'm going to close solution and I am going to find it. I'm going to find it. Okay? So uh, this, you have to go to your C drive. Okay? All the way to your C drive. Okay, uh, let's go to your C drive. All right, so once you go to your C drive, it's in your user. It's already, unless you change it, it's in your user. Once your user right there, and look for, the name, you, your username, then go to, Source. And there's a folder called repos. And the repos right here, look for the date. I have a splash project here. Splash project. The splash project, and you right click it, and you send it to compress zip. So now that's zip file. And you open this one right here, so open. Then you go to Splash Project right here. Then into the bin folder, debug, and Splash Project EXE, click it, that's your EXE. In order to get that, you want to right click it, copy, go back to your repos. So right here, and paste. So you have these two. You have these two right now, and you need to upload. Let me show you how to upload. So let me go back to as a student 
Ah, oh, let me do as a student, okay? So, on my student right now, I go to module. I go to my chapter one. Okay. All right. So right here, I will do this submit assignment. Submit assignment. All right. So right here, the first thing you need to choose a file. So remember, it is at your C drive. So let's learn this right now. Okay. Add your your C drive and add your user add whatever name you set for your user add your uh, source add your repos and we already have a zip file right here that's one then the second one I need to have my exe here open all right, so I have two. All right, so down. EXE, add, then I add another one. So I get another one. I have to add another one in zip. So now I have one and two. I have one and two. Then I can submit. So once they give you a confetti, say, oh, you made it, all right? You can re-submit this assignment before the due date, September 27th, so, okay? So uh, this is the video. Uh, I hope you, you like.